We are cruising down the interstate on our way to continue hunting down our next truck for me to drive daily. What is up, Loud and Proud Card? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fan freaking fantastic. So, we are actually on our way to another dealership with some Fords with some Power Strokes. I know there's some Power Stroke haters out there, but there's also Ram haters, there's also Chevy haters, there's GMC haters, whatever. My thing is, I don't really care what brand it is. I like them all. There's just certain older models of certain models of trucks that I just I'm not a fan of because of the flaws that were very major but for the most part I love all brands every brand makes trucks that I like we're gonna go look at some Fords we've got a dilemma I'm trying to debate whether I want to go with a 15 16 Ford or a 17 or newer Ford I want a platinum or a King Ranch this place has two platinums they're both black they're both fully color matched one's a 15 one's a 17 and I want to get you guys a take on this do not forget this is now officially like the last 24 hours to get double entries to enter to win this truck yeah 2019 Ram 3500 limited this truck is just awesome I mean it gets looks everywhere you go effortlessly it's just nuts if you guys want to have a chance to win this truck every five dollars is two entries for the next 24 hours only thank you guys so much for all the love and support in participating in this kind of stuff and just helping us grow and expand our company it's really been like an absolutely crazy experience this last like two slash almost coming up on three years of doing what we do and it's just nuts like just like how things have changed and evolved is just insane and I cannot thank you guys enough. Let's go check out these trucks. Get your double entries while you can. Oh my flipping goodness, fam. Did this video take a major turn? So we actually came to this dealership just to look at some trucks and compare them. Like go back and forth, compare the trucks, see what I do and don't like. You know, the difference between, you know, this year and that year. They're both platinums. They're both cool. And next thing you know, I kid you not, we're here for 15 minutes and I'm like, I'll give you this much for the truck. Numbers were thrown back and forth. We got a freaking platinum, boys. We bought a platy today. The thing is sweet. It's really cool. It's gonna be a great replacement for the dually for a daily driver. Yes, I love the dually. The dually's insane. In fact, I still like the dually a lot more interior-wise, but I wasn't gonna buy another Dodge or Ram, my bad. You know, just because of the fact I wanted to diversify, change it up a little bit, get something a little bit different since, you know, you've already seen a lot of, you know, Mopar stuff, Dodge, Chrysler, whatever you wanna call it. I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna go with the Ford. I'm gonna go with the platinum it's cool so anyways guys i will show you the truck here in a little bit the all new platinum for the channel i think you guys are gonna flip and love how this thing turns out it's gonna be crazy Say hello to the new F-250 Platinum for the channel. This truck is freaking nice. I mean, obviously it's nice. It's a new truck. It's really cool. I'm going to get out and I'm going to show you around the truck and um, just kind of give you the rundown on what the truck is, why I got what I got, all that kind of stuff. Funny thing is the day we went to look at this truck, I wasn't even planning on buying a truck. I was actually just going to look at a 15 and this 17 F250 Platinum, and I'll tell you why I went with the 17 in a little bit here, and not a new one. I looked at them both, and instantly I was like, man, the 16 though, the 15, I mean, is so clean. Like, it was like, you know, 50,000 miles, one owner, just mint, 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 like nothing wrong with it. I mean, just perfect top condition, and I'm like, that is a clean, clean truck. You know, like a businessman that doesn't need a truck, but just wants to drive a nice truck, own that. You could just tell, like it was like the seats weren't worn in. I mean, it, it looked like it was hardly driven, but it had 50,000 miles on it. So you expect somewhere in here to start kicking in then, just nothing. I, I know my dad's King Ranch 50,000 miles in and how the seats are starting to break in and stuff and like the steering wheel and all that stuff. Cause he used his truck and he was in and out with work pants and stuff like that. I mean, just 
throwing tools in the back seat, like all kinds of stuff. This truck was not that type of deal. And then I saw this one, and they had them side by side parked there. They had them ready for me because I said, hey, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna look at your two Platinums. They're like, okay. They had this one next to it, and instantly I was like, that one's cool. But this one's a little bit cooler. I was, I was looking at this truck, and I'm like, I love the previous style Fords, but I love this new style so much more when you see it in person. Like, I know there's there's some people that just don't like Fords no matter what and they just have way too much pride but these trucks are you got to give them a chance at least look at them sit in one like they are so nice go to a lot it'll change your mind about these Fords like I just freaking love the way this thing looks I love the way it rides the ride difference in how quiet the cab was and everything was a lot different in the steering from this truck to the previous one not in a bad way the other truck was still super comfortable luxurious all that stuff it was it was really fancy but i'm saying like there are some noticeable differences when you drive the two side by side like literally five minutes apart you can really feel the difference in terms of why i went with a used platinum and not a new platinum because some of you are probably wondering like you got the longhorn new you got the limited new why didn't you go with the you know the ford new well let me kind of show you why going inside here this truck is nice, don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not complaining about anything here. This truck is really nice, right? It's cool, it's it's fancy. Just a lot of plastic buttons. The screen and backup camera, like if I showed you here, actually let me show you. Um, when you look at everything, um, it's just it's just kind of grainy. The interior is like cool, but it's still a little bit boring-ish. And when you look at this compared to like a Lariat, I couldn't find enough differences to spend you know, the extra 20 grand to get it new. Which brings me to my next point, and the price on this was priced below trade-in value. Yes, clean trade-in value. This truck, I bought it for less than clean trade-in value. I looked it up on the NADA website, clean trade versus clean retail, you know, use price. This truck sold for less than the trade-in price. I thought, you know what, can't go wrong with it. I'm not gonna spend, you know, 78 grand on one new. I'm gonna get this thing used just because, you know, I just, again, after the limited, it was kind of one of those things where it kind of hit me really hard, like, you know what, buying a new truck is really cool, but in certain situations when you have the opportunity to buy the same exact truck with only 30,000 miles on it and save $20,000, I'm gonna do that. It's just not necessary. So that's why I bought it used versus new because I could have bought a new one, but it's one of those things where I sat in this one, sat in a new one, I'm like, hmm. I can't, I literally can't see any reason why I should spend extra money and buy a new one when there's this one with only 30,000 miles, still has warranty if anything does happen to go wrong within the next couple thousand miles before a bunch of stuff gets done to it. Another video coming soon. I just couldn't justify it and didn't see any reasons to, so I went with this truck. Why did I go with a black platinum? I was looking at some white ones, limiteds, platinums, king ranches, looking at a black king ranch too, and I know some of you guys saw that truck, and I did not like the tan bumpers and the tan flares and stuff it just didn't scream like clean looking to me like it, it's a good looking truck don't get me wrong but it just did not look amazing to me not to mention the headlight on that other truck was busted like it was like busted down the side cracked down across the front just really tore up actually that truck used with the same mileage and it was the same year in everything this platinum sold for six or seven thousand dollars less than they wanted for the king ranch and the king ranch like i said had busted up headlight had some really big rock chips all over the bumper which by the way if you get up close to this bumper i mean everything's perfect there's no big old rock chips and dings you know what i mean it's got factory wheels on it so they're all stanced out and stuff um i mean it just it was just a way better deal and i just couldn't pass it up it's not a bad deal on that truck they were asking you know used retail value on it but this one was just priced below the trade-in value. And yes, it's a clean Carfax, all that stuff. There's nothing weird about it. Everything's perfect on it, no accidents, one owner. It was just a better deal. And when it comes to saving money on a truck like this, everything counts. And so I was like, um, I ran less and I can get a technically higher trim level truck. I'm gonna do that. And believe it or not, guys, these trucks are really hard to find. Now I know you can just go online, you type in platinum for sale, you're gonna find hundreds of you know platinums and king ranches and stuff on the internet for sale. That's not what I'm saying. Like they're obviously all over the country for sale, but in terms of where we're at around the Fort Wayne, Indiana area, this is really difficult to find. Like this truck was the closest one that we could find, and it was 45 minutes away, and that was the closest platinum we could find for sale in the entire area. 
there were like two new trucks for sale in Fort Wayne. They were both lariats, and they wanted like seventy some thousand dollars for them. Seventy two thousand, I think they said that was their best price they could give. New lariat, seventy two grand. I'm like, holy shnikes! Like that is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do that. And then in terms of like platinums, new nothing for sale around. There were a couple King Ranches used. Like I said, the one that was kind of in roughest shape for twenty thousand miles on it. It just wasn't like amazing so we found this truck it was 45 minutes away with a 2015 and i wanted to compare those two trucks and it was just even better that i could actually compare them at the same lot side by side same color same color paint match bumpers everything identical trucks almost identical mileage and i was just like you know i'm going to compare these two and make my decision right then and there and i wasn't planning on buying it but after some numbers were exchanged i'm like you know what I want the truck, let's take it home. Thank you so much for stopping in and watching today's video. Hopefully you guys are just as stoked as I am to see the build process of this truck. We've already got some huge plans and already got some parts on the way, of course. It's been about 10 hours since ownership. You gotta get some parts in to make this thing look a little bit more aftermarket. And then we've gotta get some stuff stripped out from under the hood, under the cab, you guys get what I'm saying. Enter to win my 2019 Ram 3500 Dually Limited Edition. That truck, like I said, still my favorite. I still would prefer that over this truck, but I'm not gonna complain, it's freaking really nice and I wanted to try something new get out of my comfort zone a little bit move to a Ford just try it out and I gotta say it does ride nice it does look really cool and it's just definitely something different that I'm just gonna really learn to like and I think I'm just gonna really fall in love with this a little bit more and more as I have it but anyways guys like I said enter while you can last 24 hours to get double entries to win my baby the dually the limited information is in the description below it's every five dollars you spend on gear is two entries to win like I said though that ends tomorrow at midnight. Don't miss out. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.